Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today will be a video showing you how deadly is the Bose Breaker Ball. This is the Bose Breaker Ball. They are 6.2 grams or 5.8 to 6.2 grams each made in South Africa. You can buy them on eBay and they work with any paintball guns but best work with the Tiberius T 8.1 tuned to the max power which gives you 8 or 9 shots per CO2 uh, with one magazine. So check out my other videos on YouTube on the other demonstration on watermelon, coconut, foam book and everything. I did a lot of tests. Today we're going to test this thing out okay, with our simulation human skulls here made from plaster and silicone. This is very very tough and very overkill. It's made by Adam from the uh, Advanced Weapon channel. Check out the channel below. A knife. I go like that. It's not going to go in and it's definitely not even cutting in. So this is knife proof. It's so tough, so hard, to the point that I think it's not even a human simulation. Let's see if the Tiberius T8.1 can get through this. Okay, so we got our bowls. And this patch came to uh, yellow and, and red. Yellow. Uh, let's get the grams going. 5.68. Some red maybe. 5.7. So they're definitely much heavier than your normal paintball. 5.6. Okay, well these are a little bit light to me. Mm, well this one is even 5 grams. So they must be using some undersized balls. It's not as heavy as I wanted. I wish they do make them heavier and a little bit bigger. Oh, this one is good. 6.3. So, yeah, the weight is kind of not very consistent, but uh, it's the same with, you know, normal firearms and stuff. The weight is always not the same. So, let's try that out. Breaker balls. CO2, load it in, pull down the magazine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one spare ammo. Iberius T8.1. Drop in my knife shot. There we go. Now let's gas it up and give it a shot. Okay guys, so here I will be doing a shot behind this protection because I don't want it to rebound and such. So let's do a few shots and up when I'm doing it, you'll be looking at there. When you see the red balls, you know it's the bricker balls. Okay, so I'll zoom into the head. So let's go. See it right away and let me tune down the iris a bit so that you can see the details now I think aimed right here and it went into the eye socket see it went in okay you can't really see it right here but you can see my finger can poke inside okay see that okay the jelly is very hard and I oh there are shots here that went into okay some somewhere here it did went in and hit the plaster. Now let's pick up the skulls and see that. Oh, that means you did have bone fracture inside. Look at that. Okay, so you definitely do have a lot of internal damage, but it's not gonna like penetrate through that plaster, I think, but some of these actually broke because of the internal uh, injury. So I want to try one more time putting a sticker on this guy's here so I can aim better. You know, it's kind of small, so hard for me to aim with my eyesight. So I'll put a sticker on and keep shooting at that sticker for maybe two minutes. Some blast of powder 
Wow, I should do one more shot. See, you can see the powder goes all over here and then it just splash all the way. Ooh. Now that's what happened with the poor old dude. Okay, let's check it out. Whoa! Now who can say this thing is not lethal? Look at that, much stuff broke. And imagine this is your skull. We shot the second mag and it broke so much out of it. Look at that piece, holy cow. I think it's because of the, um, uh, the, the property of the plaster. That is why it's not going to break like a, uh, like a new normal human bone, they crack, right? Now these one they fall off in fragments. So this is what you call bone fracture maybe. But ooh, oh, 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 you can feel this thing. This is what happened. Uh oh, oh, look at that. Okay, this is your skull. Who can say these are not skull breaker? Look at that. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Holy. Oh, I'm glad Adam told me to have something underneath. It does get messy. Now, take a look at here. You can definitely see I broke the skin and go right into the eye socket and it penetrated through that son of a, I mean, oh, oh, holy cow, look at that. It went in your eye, I mean, his eyes, and definitely put a nice frigid hole there. Oh my, look at that. This is scary. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this guy with maybe a TCR, okay? Tim and TCR, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Or I should continue. Okay, let's do a third mag. I'll aim at this spot and try to like really punch a hole into the skull. My third mag was kind of a fail because uh, for sure that the problem with the CO2 is kind of expired, old CO2. But I think we punched, oh my, the whole floor is full of that uh, garbage. And, and I can tell you that my feet is already feeling, oh, oh my. So in four shot, you poke through the skull and that's what happened. So you're gonna break someone's head with this Tiberius T 8.1 uh, for sure if you keep doing that and wow I don't think I need any explanation so far and look at this okay if I actually use my hand to give it a punch it's gonna come right out like that and you basically really did demolish the whole thing look at that this silicone is nothing look this is night proof, but not breaker balls proof. Now this this is crazy. Holy cow! Okay, whoever is telling me that, oh, you're just a joke. You you should not use paintball guns. You know they are not going to work and such. You know, screw that. Look at that. Okay, look what what we did with the whole. Okay, now you may want to see the difference between this and a BB gun, airsoft gun. Let's try to use a pellet gun. And let's try this out. We got a PCP rifle. This is the Air Arm S410F uh, right here. As you can see, the Canadian version, but it's a .22 caliber pellet gun. We are loading this thing with uh, FX pellets. They are FX pellets, uh, 16 grains each. 0.22 caliber and we're gonna load this thing in and try it out and at the same time you know we got um, some of the airsoft guns here as well so just load up these that airsoft pistols so we'll try that out as well so as you can see these mags you need to load it up like that okay well, let's try that out 
Okay. Now the range is hot, we'll go over there and check it out. Okay guys, so from uh, weakest to strongest, let's try the Wii Kappa. Let's do three shots. It all bounced back to me. Oh well, we you know, it's weak. What do you expect? Okay, so it all bounced to my chest and there's no sign of getting in at all. So you have no way to harm this guy with an airsoft baby. Okay, now let's try the this guy. Well, let me move all the way back to my 25 feet range. Let's go. Very quiet. Okay, I did three shots, let's go up and check, okay? I did three shots and it's for sure full power. Not sure how it does with this guy. So three shots into this guy, it, it seems like, like there's no effect, visual effect at all. And uh, let's get that white balance a little bit yellower. Okay, you're trying to spot my palette. Where did it go? Uh, sorry, the pellet didn't go in. What? Isn't that my point to two? Mm. Don't see any sign. There's no holes, no nothing here. I think I got to shoot again, maybe. Yeah, let's try again, okay? There's no sign of damage with the pellet gun. Okay, now I'll zoom. I will now zoom in. And let you guys uh, check this out for me, okay? Go! I shot the bottom. Okay. I aimed a little bit to the bottom and try and see if it's my aim issue. I actually saw the bottom dropped out, so yeah. The bottom did drop. <laughs> but I don't think it entered the gel or something. Okay, there's no sign of that uh, pellet inside the gel here. Right. So yeah, there's no sign of damage from the pellet like how it does with the breaker ball. Now at the end of course you guys want to see the breaker ball effect again. We've damaged the part right here again with breaker balls and uh, see how it does again, okay? This is the fifth magazine today. Uh, loading up with more yellow and red combination. Let's go! Yeah, you can see how it actually blasts that plaster to the back of my trap. Oh my, look at Ah, this is pretty bad. And with my new rounds, you can see the internals is totally effed up. Um, right, wow. It's 100% it's goner. Look at Woo! I mean, okay, so who still have issues with paintball guns for self-defense? You better check this thing out and try with your little pellet rifle, you know? My air arm rifle cannot even penetrate into the skin of this thing. It can crack the bone if you actually ignore the skin. But the skin is too tough, way too tough. Look at that, it's, it's a very hard material. And without getting through that, thick and bouncy skin you have no way to get in here so pellet gun for self-defense yeah well human skin it can penetrate but not this kind of silicone skin of course this is really tough 
okay they actually made it tougher because you have the backing right here so let me just try to peel the thing off see if I can do it okay with one hand Ugh. okay so there goes the skin oh I, I actually feel a tiny bit of uh, dents right here somehow oh no this is from here the uh, texture of the skull so that's the skull okay you may think that this skull is uh, you know not so legit you know not from famous brand whatever but let me tell you guys this is definitely overkill and it's super super tough compared to zombie go boom I think their version is toy this version is military grade I mean like they don't even give you a simulation of a real boom now this thing definitely simulates some bones effect it's not accurate of course as you can see like your bones don't shatter into fragments like that but <laughs> looking at this I am more happy and satisfied enough for the breaker balls they really work and it, it works very well with my Tiberius T8.1 now will the uh, Tipman TCR and kind of thing you know at the 20 joules range do the same kind of damage well I guess it will but it may require a little bit more shots right now my gun is tuned to the um, 28 to 30 joules mark and with 10 more joules of course you get a lot of more power so if you want to guarantee some effect you know uh, like really strong effect you need that power then you need to buy a Tiberius T8.1 9.1 or T4.1 the T15 will not work um okay so that's it for this test as you can see nasty and brutal and with uh, you know the the Tipman TCR kind of thing, 20 joules ish range, I can tell you that it's gonna work to give people a lot of pain, a lot of injuries, a lot of bruises. It may not kill, but uh, it's definitely scary too. You know, a little bit lower than this kind of power, but still very scary. At the end, I want to thank uh, Adam for the head, and also thank you, the guys, people in uh, South Africa providing the. Bulls breaker balls. Now these are the stuff you want to get, not the rubber balls or whatever uh, out there. Okay, those are not for real home defense. Those are good for not lethal or riot control. You know when you don't need to kill people. Okay, now this allows you to kill or not kill, just like a firearm. So as they say right here. Please use responsibility with extreme cautious. Always do that, okay? You have to understand the Tiberius T8.1 with both breaker ball is just like a firearm. It's not exactly like a firearm, but it can be a very, very nasty, brutal, and suffering death that you're giving someone. So do not shoot people in the head with this thing like so, and it's definitely dangerous. I personally only use this thing for target shooting, having fun doing experiments, and seeing the power of these things. So in case, you know, some people need to use it for their purpose, it's just their thing, okay? I'm just doing experiment to show you the power of these things. Now, there's two reasons for it. One, you have to learn the safety of these paintball guns. I know you guys play paintball and look out there, it's like, ooh, they don't get hurt with paintball. No, this is not paintball. This is bulls breaker balls. They break your bones and kill you if you use them wrongly. So understand the power of paintball guns. Don't be, you know, kind of deceived by how it looks in games. This is not game power, okay? This is not game am ammunition. Now, secondly is for those, of, uh, those people who think that Paintball guns for home defense is a joke. You need to look at this and compare that result with what you have in your head. Now we try uh, ballistic jelly made by myself. You can say that is not legit. Now this guy, if you have dealt with it, okay, this is definitely tough enough to show you it's crazy hard. It's rock hard. Plaster and silicone. This is not a joke. Now if this thing breaks, this is going to break for sure. You don't want to see that happen. I shot a few mags and you can see the result. Okay, it's all smashed up. What happened? If you have, for example, a BT Defender going full auto, brrr, empty like, I don't know, uh, 40, 50, even 100 rounds straight to the target. What happened is scary. Okay, 
So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Buy your Bulls Breaker Ball from the website in the uh, description below from the South Africa people. And also check out that channel with the hit. See you later. Bye-bye.